Hey boys and girls, let's revisit a science topic that you're familiar with. Do you remember when we studied Earth Day and we talked about how you can take care of the Earth? I'm going to add to that and also talk to you about how you can conserve the Earth's natural resources. So let's look at our science big book. We have a question at the top. How can we take care of Earth? In order to answer that, let's look at the pictures of the children to see what we need to do. In the first picture, we have a little girl who's gone on a walk and she must have seen some paper lying on the ground. We don't wanna let garbage lying on the ground, so she picks it up and she throws it away. This is exactly what we need to do to keep our land clean. And even better yet, maybe if we could find a recycling bin to throw that garbage away in, that would be great too. Let's look at this little boy. He's brushing his teeth and I like what he's doing with his other hand. While he's brushing, he turns off the water instead of letting it just run. That would be really wasteful. So that we don't waste water and we have enough clean water for everybody to use, we need to turn the water off while we're brushing. Same thing goes while we're washing our hands. When we're scrubbing, we need to turn the water off then turn it back on when we're ready to rinse. Look at this little girl. She's putting a sapling in the ground. And you know from our plant lessons that plants are really important to us. They do two things for us. They give us good air to breathe and they also give us good food to eat. So we need to take care of our plants. And then down here, we see a mom and her daughter. They're releasing a turtle back into its home. We wanna protect our wildlife. We can do that by not disturbing any animals. That goes for eggs, baby animals, even adult animals. If you would see an animal that's hurt or sick, you could tell an adult about that and they could help the animal out, but eventually it will have to be released back into the wild. We wanna protect animals and be kind to them by not disturbing them and letting them in their homes. Okay, so what we should have learned today is that we can take care of land and water and also we can take care of living things to help conserve our Earth's natural resources. I have a book I'd like to read to you next called The Earth Book and we're going to learn some more things that you can do to take care of the Earth. The Earth Book by Todd Parr. Let's take a closer look. I take care of the Earth because I know I can do little things every day to make a big difference. I use both sides of the paper and bring my own bags to the market because I love the trees and I want the owls to have a place to live. I turn off the faucet while I brush my teeth and use less water for my baths because I love the fish and I want the oceans to stay blue. I take the school bus and ride my bike because I love the stars and I want the air to be clear so I can see them sparkle. I try to eat every bite on my plate and save my leftovers because I love watching things grow and I want there to be enough food for everyone. I remember to turn off the lights and shut the refrigerator to save energy because I love the polar bears and I want the snowmen to stay cool. I throw garbage in the trash can and recycle glass, aluminum, paper, and plastic because I love to walk barefoot in the grass and I don't want to move to Mars. Most of all, I help take care of the earth because I want us all to be happy and healthy. Every one of us can help protect the earth and make it feel good. Remember, if we take care of it, it will take care of us. Love, Todd. I hope this book and this lesson inspired you to continue to do what you can to take care of the earth. Thanks for joining me.